Hello and Happy New Year and welcome to another edition of Capra Comparison Picks. My name is Rand and today I will be giving you the Capra Comparison Picks for the NCAA Select Bowl Games. Yeah, I, I haven't been on, I haven't done a video in several weeks, but it's been good, man. I, I got a new job. It's kind of priority now over YouTube videos, but I figured I have some time today. I'm going to throw, throw a quick video up and plus UFC has, you know, there's nothing until the 16th, January 16th. So I was taking a little break, I guess you could say from Capra comparison pick videos. Anyway, let's get on with today's NCAA football action. Oh, awesome. It's been a while since I've done NCAA football too. I don't actually, I don't think I've ever, I've only done NCAA basketball. I looked at videos I did uh, last, last year. Well, yeah, last year uh, when I first started this show back in February of 2020, right before COVID stomped out any sports. I did uh, some, I was doing NCAA basketball, NHL hockey, but I, I missed the, I missed football. I missed the whole because I started the show after NCAA football stopped and you know, and I, anyway, regardless of that, um, if you're new to my show, what I do is I take free picks and predictions off the internet, especially for this, for UFC, it's different. I break down further deeper. This. It's, and, and UFC is strictly, I take the cappers strictly off YouTube. This is off the internet, not necessarily YouTube. And these, what you'll see, I compare handicappers picks to other handicappers picks. So then I determine who I'm taking in the matchup for gambling purposes. So without further ado, and without any more rambling from me, let me get into it. Um, there was another game. I, I just did, didn't cover it because it's so uh, close to game time. Um, we had the Peach Bowl, Cincinnati versus Georgia. And I'm taking uh, Cincinnati with the points, but that's not... I didn't put it in here. So we're going to start at 1 o'clock. We have the Citrus Bowl. We have the Auburn Tigers. Six and four, they're taking on Northwestern. Six and two, Northwestern is ranked number 14 in the in the AP 20, top 25. Okay, taking, I'm just gonna jump in. You know, I was looking at videos from last year when I first started out. I had some videos that were like six minutes. I covered three or four games. On average, I think there was 10 minutes, but I wasn't throwing in all the stats and stuff. I was just throwing in picks. Boom, boom, this guy, this guy, this guy. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a quick video too. It's not like, a, like I was saying earlier, the UFC videos, I take more time, I get more in depth, because that's the majority of my subscribers are through my UFC videos. But uh, regardless, I know there's a couple out there that like, that are degenerate gamblers just like me and they like football. I do football, soccer, I do it all, whatever. I even, I looked in my archives, I even did a video of, uh, I got a, a rug, or was it rugby or something? I got rugby or some, I forget, but I went, during the uh, drought of sports back in last March, I got desperate and did some crazy, crazy off the wall sport picks. Anyway, here we go. Um, taking Northwestern, we've got from winners and whiners. Now all these cappers for the uh, NCAA football and basketball, the majority of them are part of a stable of cappers. I mean, they work for a big company that employs a lot of handicappers. For example, winners and whiners. In this case, they are used, they, uh, I watched a little video, winners and whiners. I watched a video with uh, Scott's the Steamroller Steen, and they got Northwestern covering 
four points. Oh, I should put that in. Um, yeah, the the Northwestern has to cover four and a half, according to Bovada. Um, on the money line, they are minus two hundred. Ugh, gross. The over under is set at forty three and a half. And remember, these odds are from Bovada as of right before I made this video. Okay, Auburn is getting four and a half points at minus 110. Like the, but the money line I'll put in. Money line's at plus 170 if you think they can win outright. Which uh, I noticed in some, some comments on a lot of these uh, YouTube things I saw. Um, I saw people were taking them to win outright. Anyway, Scott Steamroller, Steam from Winners and Winers, siding with Northwestern. Uh, Mitch from Pick Dogs. Hi, I'm Mitch from Pick Dogs, and we give out the most picks of anyone on YouTube, and he is correct, he does. Mitch from Pick Dogs. I'll just put Pick Dogs, whatever. Pick Dogs. And these guys, see, UFC, I'll put links in the description. These guys, I don't put their links in the description. I just verbally say, they don't need my subscriber. They, they already got like 20,000 subscribers anyway. So it's not like they need them. Um, Kyle Kerms, Kerms, I didn't use him in the past. Winners and Winners, Mitch, Wager Top, Picks Parlay, I used all those guys. But Kyle Kerms, I like him. He's uh. Yeah, I like him. He's he's got he's pre pretty professional. Um, he did the score on this one. He predicts the score to be fourteen to twenty in favor of Northwestern. Um, therefore, that's also going to be under for Kyle Kerms. Then uh, we've got Wager Talk. Now Wager Talk, they had for each one of these games, they have. Let's see, they had uh, for this one. Hosted by Minty Betts, right? And, um, yeah. And she had two guys on the show. She had Ralph Michaels and Brian Leonard. But, uh, Wager Talk, Minty Betts. Oh, she's beautiful. Um, Brian Leonard took the side. And he took, uh... Yeah, he took Northwestern to cover three and a half. And now they got to cover an extra point, four and a half. That might change it. But, and the other guy, Ralph Michaels. Ralph Michaels took the under 43 and a half, I hope. I don't know. But he took the under on this game. So we got that going for there. And this would be a full cap of consensus. But picks and parlays. Had uh, now picks and parlay same thing. They have a host. Um, the host is was uh, what's her name? Allie. Um, man, Allie Burns plus money, honey. Allie Burns, and she had on her show, Kurt, or you know, on the picks and parlays prediction show for this one, she had Kurt Alexander. And he's taken Auburn plus the three and a half points. But in this case, they're getting an extra point. So we'll just say plus, well, he said plus three and a half. So that's the odds he had. Now it's actually moved up because people are putting money on Northwestern. So there you have that. Um, my pick in this, I already picked, I already made my bets prior to making this video. I wasn't going to do this video, but I figured, you know, New year, new day, really just being lazy today, enjoying my time off. Um, I'm going to go with Northwestern here, and I will even project a score. Oh, man. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of low scoring. I'm going I'm to say... Uh, 18 to 24. Yeah, 
1824, that would be under. Okay, so there you have that. Hmm. Moving on. Next, we at four o'clock today. This is gonna be a <laughs> interesting game. At four o'clock today, we got the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. They just got uh, slobber knockered by Clemson last week on a revenge game with Trevor Lawrence. The, they, uh, Notre Dame, their one loss was the rematch against, but the first time around they played Clemson, they beat them. That's the only loss Clemson's had. But that was without Trevor Lawrence because of COVID. But anyway, Notre Dame, 10 and one. They are getting 19 and a half points in this sucker. So, plus 19 and a half. And money line, they are plus 700. Big underdogs against, of course, number one, Alabama. Cover 19 and a half at minus 115, which is reasonable. Otherwise, you are laying minus 1,200 just to win outright without points. So, covering 19 and a half is what we're, uh, ATS, that's what we're uh, talking about in this situation. No one's going to take Alabama on the money line. That'd be ridiculous, minus 1,200. That means, <coughs> if you're not familiar, that means you have to lay down $1,200 to win 100. Notre Dame, if they win without the points, just overall, you lay $100 down and you win $700. That's plus $700. That's how that works, for those who don't know. Alabama's ranked number one, of course. Notre Dame's ranked number four. And that is, uh, handicappers are a little up and that's, a lot of them said they just had to throw somebody in because Alabama's already tore apart Texas A&M by 20-something, I think. Uh, pretty much they're stomping everybody. They had to throw somebody that could compete with uh, Alabama. Let me give you the stat before I... Oh, the, the over set, according to Bovada, 66 and a half on the over. Um... In the last seven games, Notre Dame is one and six against the spread. Keep that in mind. Alabama is seven and zero oh against the spread in their last seven games. I don't. There hasn't hasn't been a game that they've scored under thirty five points this season. And you know, so that being said, let's get on with this. Uh, from um, wager talk. Like I said, they got, uh, who was hosting this one? This one was hosted by Drew Martin. Not as pretty as Minty Betts, but handsome guy, I guess. <laughs> uh, Drew Martin was the host. He had a guy named Kevin Dolan on the team and Rob Vino. Uh, and both of them are... They didn't run and make the bet yet, but both of them are on board with Alab leaning Alabama to cover the 19 and a half. But they didn't, like they said, they're, they're, that's where the lean is. Um, did they say it over under? Yes. The, uh, no, they did not. I'm sorry. I apologize. But anyways, wager talk is taking Alabama to cover. Then we have... Uh, Stat Salt, Doug Gilchrist. This one I did not get off YouTube. I got off the internet through the Stat Salt website. Uh, so Doug Gilchrist also taking Alabama to cover the 19. Gilchrist, Gilchrist, Gilchrist. Um, then we have uh, Kyle. Kerms, like I said, he's a, he's relatively new to me. I just subscribed to him this morning, but he came up and I watched him and I like him. Definitely on YouTube. And he had a dude come in at like at the end. He picked the side, 
Then at the, after his little spiel and breakdown, whatever, what, uh, at the end he had some dude come on for just like a 10 second blurb with a Philadelphia Eagles hat. And he was like, on this game, I'm going to take the over. And I think you might have said some stat or something, but uh, yeah, those boys, the Kyle Ker Kerms and his buddies are taking the over and have Alabama cover 19 and a half. Then we have winners and whiners. Jordy McElroy. I remember him from uh, when I was doing NCAA basketball last year. Jordy. I like him. Jordy McElroy, he's taking Alabama to cover. And that once that's also not on YouTube. That was on the internet. That I, you know. I was on Winners and Winers, their website. So, um, once again, should have been a full Capric consensus, but a guy named Frank from Easy Winner, Free Picks, EasyWinners.com. E Z. There's no hyphen there. E Z. Winners. Frank is taking Notre Dame plus the 19 and a half. He thinks, uh, I don't know, the, the coach of Notre Dame there, I guess he said he's looking, he's welcoming this. He's look, he's excited for it. He thinks he's, oh, where was, there's a, there was a little stat. Um, I thought I wrote it down, I guess. This, oh, that's the next game. Anyway, um, yeah, Frank from Easy Winners, he's taking Notre Dame. Plus, he thinks they're going to keep it closer than, than 19 points. So uh, he's got them plus the 19. I mean, hey, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of leaning that way too. I think they're going to Notre Dame, they're 10-1. and one, They're going to, but I don't know. That last week they got blown out by Clemson. 20 points, I think. So, I'm going to have to go with Alabama to cover. Yeah, I think this is going to be another blowout. I I, I feel bad for Notre Dame, but uh, yeah. I'm going to have Alabama win. By, uh, let's see. Notre Dame will throw up some points. I think they'll get to like 20... To 24. But Alabama will get up like... 41. Huh. Oh, that would be under. Let's, okay. We'll say 48. There we go. That jumps it over. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm taking over 66 and a half and Alabama to cover the 20, the 19 and a half points. Cool? Is that cool with me? That's cool with me. All right, finally, we've got the Buckeyes of Ohio State with their perfect 6-0 record, that, but that's all they have is six games this season. And there was big thing about rules change just to just to like uh, cater to Ohio State. But let's see. I mean, if they belong in this playoff, in this Sugar Bowl. So we had Justin Fields taking on Trevor Lawrence. Thanking for Trevor. I guess Trevor Lawrence looks like he's probably going to go to Jacksonville next year. But uh, here we go. Ohio State is ranked number three, which is... Like, in the AP poll, and a lot of handicappers are not happy with that. But, um, the Sharps are good. The Sharps, okay, let me write down. Ohio State is getting six, seven points, plus seven. And on the money line, they're plus 230. Clemson, number two, right behind Alabama's number one, remember, goes one, two, three, four. That's how it goes in the top four. And then there's kind of like a big gap. That's what the cappers are saying. After the top four, 
big gap in like uh, opponents. Um, Clemson's ten and one. They have to cover seven at one minus one fifteen. On the money line, they're minus two eighty. The over under is set at sixty eight points. Ay ay ay. So. Here we go. Let's see who's taking whom in this Sugar Bowl action. This is tonight at 8 p.m. prime time, Friday night, January 1st. So here we go. We've got um, Wager Talk, Dave Kopkin. Oh, this show, Wager Talk. Let's see. This was, oh, they had a new host. The beautiful Kelly Stewart. She was the host for the Wager Talk show. And she had Mark D'Angelo and Dave Koken on this. Um, I wrote down Mark D'Angelo. He, all right, hold on. Wager Talk, Dave Koken, he's saying the Sharps are on Ohio State, but the public is on Clemson. And he says the value is on Ohio State. He's only he's got got the va the points at three and a half in his as a handicapper he, he makes he made his own like uh so he thinks plus getting seven points that's value. So Dave Koken from Wager Talk is siding with Ohio State plus the seven points. Um the other guy in the show with Kelly Stewart was Mark D'Angelo, and he is saying it's going to go over the 68 points. Okay, so then, should I put a little, I'll put a little wager talk, wager T, W T, over, because we have uh, from Winners and Winers, Chris Kubala is taken Clemson to cover seven and a half. And it's at seven right now. I was right, Chris. Kubal, I think, yeah, I used to do this back when I was doing. Wager Talk, Stat Salt, they're, they're great for like, if for quick, quick picks, like uh, on the internet, just type, go to their website and they'll, they cover everything. NCAA basketball, pro football, NCAA. Uh, football, um, I don't think they do MMA, but, uh, pretty much the, like, uh, mainstream American sports, Wager Talk, Winners and Winers, Statsall, there's a ton of them, Odds.com, Odds does, uh, but, you know, Odds does UFC, they got, of course, they've got Clint, and they got a mad stable of just specifically UFC cappers, but anyway, Wager, winners and Winers, Chris Kubala, that's who I took, who I looked at today, and he's got Clemson. He didn't specify if it's going to go over or under. Then Statsall, another stable, good stable of handicappers, David Delano, that's the one I looked at for Statsall, and he's taken Ohio State plus seven and a half. Dave Delano. And he's also taken them, taken the under 68. So S S under. Stat salt under. Then we got uh, Kyle Kerms, the new guy. Well, new to me. I like him. Kyle Kerms. I think it's how you say his last name. Kerms, right? K. Kerms. 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 Whatever. He thinks uh, Clemson's gonna win by 10. And. His buddy on the, like I told you, he does, he picked the side and he said, you know, his whole spiel by 10. Then he flashes to some other guy, I think his name was Soup or something. And the guy was literally taking a piss and saying, oh, I'm taking a piss right now. But uh, if I wasn't, I'd be betting the Clemson Tigers or something like that. Or he'd be bet, I'll be betting the over for this game. So... Yeah, Kyle Kerm's buddy is taking the over, and they got him. Like I said, he's got him winning, Clemson winning by 10. So, for the tiebreaker, we've got P. 
Picks and Parlays. And this one was not hosted by Allie Burns. It was hosted by the other beautiful blonde woman on Picks and Parlays, Chelsea Messenger. And Chelsea Messenger had my boy Sean Higgs on the show for Picks and Parlays. Sean Higgs, I've oh since last year, he's always been one of my favorite. Him, Chip Crimbles, Trimbles, I like him. Uh, I miss I miss the I gotta get back into NCAA stuff, the basketball, the football. That's that was I love that crap, and it was so, it's so fast. But anyway, um, for the tiebreaker, we got picks and parley Sean Higgs. And he is taking Clemson to cover. Picks and parlays. Sean Higgs. Yeah, he's got he's got him going over also. That I don't know if it was 68. Like I said, I think that jumped up a little a point or two, that 68 the total. I think it might have been like at 66, 67 or I'm not even sure I could, because it's because Notre Dame, Alabama, that's a crazy 60-something, too. And look at this one, 43 and a half under. But uh, for this, oh, man, I just can't. What's the, who's the guy from Ohio State? Justin Fields. Oh, let me give you a stat, though, about Ohio State that I wrote down. This is what I was going to write, write down earlier. Against uh, Indiana, they rushed 307 yards. Ohio State did, okay, rushing. Then against Northwestern here, who is known for a pretty solid, tough defense, they ran not 399, almost 400 yards, 399 yards against Northwestern, Ohio State did. Now, I know Clemson is much better than Northwestern, but, whew, the, and like I said, the Sharps are on Ohio State. The public is on Clemson because the public is in love with Trevor Lawrence. But, man, I don't know. This is the toughest one for me. Um, I, but I got to I gotta go with, I think Clemson should be able to win and cover, but I... I'm very reluctant, very reluctant on this because of all the rushing yards. Oh, how. Yeah. You know what? I'm going against the majority. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Ohio State, the Buckeyes. I mean, I'm with the Sharps, the public. I, I do like Clemson, and I think they're a fantastic team. And I think they should be able to win, but... I like Ohio State with the seven points. Like uh, the dude from Wager Talk, what was his name? Uh, Dave Koken. Like he said, the value is at Ohio State. He's got them plus three and a half. So if you're getting seven, then jump on it. And I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the sharp handicapper pick from Dave Koken. I'm going to say Ohio State's... Clemson will win. What, what's let's see? Over unders. Frank from Easy Winners is saying under. So let me throw these out. Ah! I can't even get that cap off. Oh. Okay. Um, Easy Winners. Easy. He's saying under, and he was adamant about that. That's the only pick he made. Mitch from Pick Dogs. Mitch, he also is saying under. I told you Mark, that guy from Wager Talk, said over. Wager. Oh, I wrote that already up there. Over. And, um, yeah, that's it. Just three. Easy winners. Frank, under. Mitch from Pick Dogs, under. Oh, yeah, picks are probably Sean Higgs. Kyle, Kyle said uh, over also. So, it's another over. So, okay, here we go. We got um, over, 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 three overs, three unders. So that's a coin flip, but I'm going to go, I'm going to say that it's going to be under. I like the under on this. I don't know, though. Ohio State, 
399 yards they rushed against Northwestern. That's that's what they're rushing. And offensive powerhouse, but both of these teams throw mad points. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to make a play on the over-under. I guess, you know what? I'll just throw the score up, and that'll be... We'll add it up after. So the score... I think Ohio State will score roughly... Um... 30. Uh, yeah, 30. 30 points. Clemson... 35. So yeah, there you go. That's so that's under. Yeah, I got it going under. All right. So there you have it. I'm not too confident with that pick at this whole game. I don't even know if I'm gonna play it, but that's because because uh, earlier I was already thinking Clemson. I I put it in a parlay too, but I can always I can do another parlay with Ohio State plus seven. Anyway. To a recap, time check. Thank you, Nora. I said Nora can't be in the video unless she takes a bath and she's being lazy today. So she was up for the ball drop. Huh? Yeah, at least she gets to do that. Anyway, to recap, I've got Northwestern beating Auburn by a score of 18 to 24. Therefore, covering the four and a half points and staying under the 43 and a half. Then I've got Alabama blowing out Notre Dame by a score of 24 to 48. Therefore, covering the 19 and a half and going over the 66 and a half. Then finally, <laughs> reluctantly, I've got the Ohio State Buckeyes uh, to keep it kind of close against Clemson, but Clemson will come out on top with the final score being 30 to 35 in favor of Clemson's also being staying under the 68. So gather the info. Place the bets and cash the tickets. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to give me that thumbs up. Um, I'm going to, you know, like I said, I did, I do have a, I started the new year off with a brand new job. So I have to still be acclimated and, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I've only been there. I started on the December 21st. So I'm still getting used to things around there, but, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's going good. But anyway, that's taking priority over YouTube videos. But I will, in my free time, still put together videos like I did today. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, the bell, hit it if you want. Or not, I really couldn't care less. I do this for fun, but I do like the subscribers and the thumbs up and the comments. So go ahead, put your picks in the comments. I like to hear them. You know, even my UFC people. Go ahead, throw some football picks out there. Come on, get, become a degenerate gambler like me, all right? <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, good luck on these bets, and I will see you next episode. Happy New Year. Bye.